It's David Wowie, Acheron! He's an easy step-by-step -step guide on how to use one of the strongest new units in Honkai Star Rail. There's no fluff, no confusing stuff that puts you to sleep, just a plain old really good guide. Are you ready? We're fighting against the big channels here, so like and subscribe to give us a standing chance. And if you want good times, donate a thanks or become a super member. A really cool thing you can do with Akron is clear normal enemies in the game without having to start one of those random battles. Usually when you go up to an enemy, it'll start a long bloody battle, but who wants that nowadays? Just use Akron. To do this, use this technique button you see on the bottom right of the screen. On the PS5, it's triangle. Let's try it out. Look at that, the enemy is gone. Just remember, this uses up one technique point. See the counter go down here? Oh no, it's going down. You normally just have five technique points and you can top up again by smashing glowing things you see throughout the game, like these bloody floating bottle thingies. Sadly, this doesn't work in all enemies. Like you can't just instant smash a boss, for example, like this T-Rex with a hat over here. Sorry, mate, I know you've always wanted to instant smash a T-Rex with a hat. Is that a chef's hat? Also, when you do see a boss, don't just run into the boss. Tap that technique button again to hack at it. This is kind of like cheating in a test and completely getting away with it because it gives you an instant advantage in battle. What advantage? If you do that slash prior to battle, all the enemies instantly get hurt with lightning and they become less tough even if they're not weak against a thunder character like Akron. Now that all that stuff's happened, what do you do when you're actually in a battle? Your aim in every battle is to get Acheron doing her ultimate attack because her ultimate attack does the most damage. Plus it looks really cool. But you might have noticed she doesn't have that circle thingy like other characters in the game have that need to be filled up before they can do their ultimate move. Instead, Acheron has some kind of flower. Yes, that's right, a flower. Flowers are cool, all right? Now look closer next to the flower. See that number one? That's a counter. To do Acheron's ultimate, you need to bring that number one to number nine. How do you do this? There are three ways. The first is simple. In battle, don't use Acheron's basic attack. Instead, use her skill, that blast icon thing, which on PS5 is once again the triangle button. This skill is called Octobolt Flash. Octobolt Flash will make you feel like one of those good looking female samurais in anime who happens to like purple flowers. What it does is it attacks all enemies with a cool looking lightning attack. But not only that, Octobolt Flash increases your counter, leading you one step further towards number nine. You see, work hard and you'll achieve your dreams. But there's more, and I want you to remember this. When you use Octobolt Flash, you also put a stack on the enemy you use that skill on. This stack is called a Crimson Knot. Now what does this stack do? Basically, it prepares you for your ultimate. When you hit that wonderful number nine and you do your ultimate, any enemy with a Crimson Knot stack gets dealt more damage. And you guessed it, the more stacks the enemy has, the more damage they take. You can add up to 9 total stacks on your enemies. For example, you can put 8 stacks on one enemy and add 1 stack on another enemy, totaling 9. Or you can even spread them out evenly. The thing is, they just have to total 9. A general rule for me is, I put stacks on the enemy that I want to hurt the most. But I'll return to this soon, because there's a bit more to it. For now, let's resume talking about more ways you can get 9 stacks quicker. So you can do your ultimate ASAP. One way, as we now know, is to use your skill, Octobolt Flash. Another way is to have another character deal a debuff skill on the enemy. What on earth is a debuff, you may ask, and who on earth invented a word as weird sounding as debuff? It took me over a year to even acknowledge the word debuff as a real word, debuff. It just sounds funny. Look, I don't know who invented it, basically a debuff skill is a skill that weakens an enemy. For example, Black Swan's attack, as you can see here, can cause wind damage over time which is a debuff as it hurts the enemy over time. That's why when Black Swan inflicts it, Acheron gets an extra stack because the enemy got a debuff. All the team members you use in Acheron's free trial also have a type of move that can cause debuffs. As you can see here, we have Pela inflicting a debuff on the enemy, which in turn gives Acheron a stack and leads her closer to getting to number 9. Another good thing is that when an enemy gets a debuff, they also get a Crimson Knot stack, which as we saw earlier, lets Akron deal more damage to that enemy during her ultimate, which you can see right here. So to repeat, if an ally uses a move that debuffs the enemy, 
Acheron's counter increases by 1 and the enemy gets a Crimson Knot stack and that stack means they can receive more damage during Acheron's ultimate. Sometimes some enemies also debuff themselves. When this happens Acheron's counter can also increase by 1. So now we have two ways for Acheron to get a stack and bring her closer to number 9. First she can use her skill Octobolt Flash. Not only does it increase your counter by 1 but it also adds a Crimson Knot stack on the enemy. So the more stacks or Crimson Knots an enemy has the more damage you'll deal when you do your ultimate later. The second way is to have a teammate do any kind of debuff on any enemy. This also increases Akron's counter by 1 and gives the enemy a Crimson Knot stack. The fastest way to increase Akron's counter is to upgrade her Trace Red Oni which you can see on her skill tree. If you're a beginner you won't have access to it yet you need to get Akron to Ascension level 2. This is a fantastic Trace to upgrade because Red Oni instantly gives Akron 5 points at battle start and gives 5 stacks on a random enemy. The good news is there's even more to Red Oni but we'll keep it simple for now and get back to this later. So now you've done the hard work and your big booty Akron has 9 stacks. With 9 stacks you'll see that the purple flower will now look like a worrying rash. This means you're ready to inflict your ultimate. The ultimate makes everything cool and black and white. Basically it just deals a huge amount of damage on enemies. Now listen closely. During this ultimate you have 3 turns to choose which enemies you deal extra damage to. If you choose the enemies with stacks on them you deal extra damage. But the cost of this damage means you'll reduce at least 3 of the stacks you put on them. So if you put 1, 2 or 3 stacks of Crimson Knot on the enemy before you did the ultimate and then you choose to attack that specific enemy during the ultimate you'll use up all of those stacks. In this example I had 8 stacks on one enemy and then 1 on another. On hit 1 I choose the enemy with 8 stacks. It deals damage and reduces 3 stacks leaving us with 5 stacks behind. Next I choose enemy with 1 stack. It deals damage but not as much because it only had 1 stack. That stack now becomes 0. Next I return to the enemy with the now 5 stacks. I hit it and we subtract 3 more stacks so it becomes 2 stacks. The final attack which I don't have a choice in and attacks all enemies seems to reduce one stack as the enemy is left with one stack after the ultimate. There you have it. Your goal as Akron is to increase her counter to 9 so you can inflict a super strong ultimate. You get 9 stacks either by using her skill Octobot Flash or have someone in the battle inflict a debuff on an enemy. You can also start the battle with 5 stacks by upgrading the Red Oni Trace in her Trace's skill tree. Speaking of Red Oni, it gets even better. Let's say you now have 9 stacks so you're ready to do your ultimate but don't do it just yet. If you now have the red Oni Trace, you can go beyond the 9 stacks and have 3 bonus extra stacks. What kind of crazy person would not like a good bonus? So do anything you normally do to get a stack and you'll see a new set of stacks appear on the bottom here capped at 3. This will make you deal even more damage when the ultimate comes. So now let's talk about all the extra stuff you can unlock on your skill tree. With Akron's traces you want to be prioritizing her ultimate here as this is the one that matters the most and maybe her Octobolt flash skill. Hopefully you'll never need to use her basic attack and you'd only be using it if you're completely out of skill points. Speaking of skill points, check out my sparkle guide after this video as she can help build those skill points up. The next traces I'd prioritize are Red Oni for all the reasons I've mentioned. The next is the Abyss which you can unlock at Ascension level 4 which increases Acheron's strength when you have 1 to 2 Nihility characters in your team. Nihility characters could include Kafka, Black Swan, Silver Wolf, Luca, Sampo, Pela, Gwenefin or Welt. Then at Ascension level 6 you can unlock Thunder Core which just makes Acheron's ultimate super strong. What are other ways to make Acheron stronger? Of course by pulling her more often. The more Acherons you get the higher her Eidolon level and she gets progressively more powerful until you've pulled her 6 more times in banners. Eidolon level 2 means you only need one other Nihility character to become strong when you've unlocked her Trace, the Abyss and it also makes your one other Nihility character instantly stack a Crimson Knot stack bringing you one step closer to that 9 counter. You'd have to be one of the luckiest, most hardworking and let's face it one of the richest people in the world to make 7 Akrons possible. But don't sell your house just yet man as she's still great without you needing to get her 6 more times. But speaking of luck, check out the video where I got her with just a handful of stellar jades. In Honkai Star Rail, instead of weapons, you give your characters light codes which are those card looking thingies.
Shout out to my mates on Discord for tips on these. There are two you should think about. The five-star light cone that's purely dedicated to Acheron called Along the Passing Shore. In plain English, all Along the Passing Shore does is for one turn, it makes Acheron's hits deal even more damage, especially during an ultimate. The next is a four-star light cone called Good Night and Sleep Well, which makes Acheron deal even more damage to enemies that have a debuff on them. This is perfect as Acheron works best when debuffs are placed on enemies. With Relics, you want to build around what makes Acheron unique. Essentially, what makes Akron unique is that she's a high damage dealer who deals even more damage when enemies have debuffs. There's the Pioneer Driver of Dead Water set, which helps Akron do just that. The Izumo Gente and Takama Divine Realm and Firmament Frontline Glamour Planar Ornaments. Yeah, I know, that's the longest name for armor I've seen in my life. Just remember this as that grey box thing with the Pokeball in front of it. This grey box thing with the Pokeball in it will help Akron deal more damage especially if there's another nihility character in your team. Lastly, we've got our team builds, baby. I personally happily use Akron with anyone because that's just how good she is. But if you want to be a bit of a perfectionist, I won't judge you. To help you build your team, remember, Akron works better with nihility characters and characters that can do debuffs. You can set her up with a team of debuff characters like Silver Wolf as a damage dealer and debuffer, Pella as a debuffer and Gepard, or is it Gepard? I forgot as your tank or you can swap him out with your favorite healer my current healer is lynx but i hear hua hua and Lorca, or is it lychee can work well you can also substitute someone like pella with sparkle whose main abilities give the team more skill points as well as greatly increases damage which is perfect for acheron check out my sparkle guide if this guide helped you don't forget to like and subscribe because we're competing with giants and check out my other vids because they'll make you do a few smiley smileys